Again, spatial data allows us that precise information. It not only allows us to understand where we're being defeated or where we're having successes, it helps us to understand the mindset of some of the criminal organizations. So if a particular guide or smuggler is working in a particular area, we're able to document that. We're able to document that down to the precise trail that they may be using or the new trails that they may be establishing based on the arrest locations at that very precise location. So again, we're able to mark that with the GPS, put that into our system, and then we understand if they were apprehended in this location today and this other location tomorrow, we can take a look at how each of those people that have been apprehended with that individual relate and how they relate to the second apprehension location or any subsequent app apprehension locations. That allows us to understand, again, the network of that criminal organization, allows us to understand how we can better combat that. And so again, that data awareness, that situational awareness is really a game changer for us. We didn't really have that in the past. Everything was really just trying to do link analysis without precise locations. We were doing that based on city centers or general areas. We would break down based on a landmark, but that landmark really covered a very vast area, sometimes upwards of a few kilometers square or a square mile worth of, of territory which is nice, it gave us a little bit of awareness, but it's not quite as good as having that precise location.